doing today? I hope that you're doing amazing and fantastic and wonderful. So I recently got asked by one of our subscribers about some good cat cozy mysteries. Now I could have sworn I already did one. Now I have done this one right here. It's the cozy companions, but that also includes dogs. So I'm coming at you with five cozy mystery series that have some sassy, feisty cats like dear Cleo right over here who's very mad at me because I tried to take a thumbnail with her. Future Courtney will know if it actually worked. I don't think that it did. So I'm sorry if Cleo is not in this thumbnail. She was, she, she was not amused. All right. Let's dive a little bit deeper into this. So I have five uh, vastly different, sort of, in a way, but also really, really fun, cozy mysteries. The first one I'm gonna talk about is the Second Chance Cat Mystery Series by Sophie Ryan. So this one is not the first one in the series. Look at the cover, though. Oh, the cover's so pretty. So her cat's name is Elvis, and I swear he has some magical innate ability that I just haven't really learned about yet, but he's always putting himself into um, the, the mystery, if you will. The first book in this series is called The Whole Cat and Caboodle, um, but Elvis is fun, he's feisty, um, our main character is Sarah Gration and she owns the Second Chance Thrift Shop where she and a whole bunch of feisty older ladies, guys, this is one of my favorite series of all time, um, they get together and they bring life to used and old things that others might not necessarily think that they, uh, have a second chance. So, I love Elvis. He's very feisty. I feel like him and Cleo would be on par in feistiness, um, if you ask me. The next one I have is the Magical Bakery Mystery Series. This is Brownies and Broomsticks right here. And um, this is by Bailey Cates. And she doesn't have, Katie is the uh, main character. She doesn't have a cat, but her aunt has a cat. And her aunt is this, her aunt's cat is very, very, um, Henri and um, I love it. Uh, Katie has a dog that is also magical. They all have like these magical companions and so um, this one is again the first one in the series and I really 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 enjoy this series a lot. So that is um, Brownies and Broomsticks, a magical bakery mystery series. We're uh, moving over to a cider shop mystery series here. As you can see, this is by Julie and Lindsay, and you guys know how much I love and devour Julie and Lindsay's books. Um, she actually has two cats, the main character does. Um, her name is Winnie, um, or Winifred. So this is the first book in the series, um, and it is in Blossom Valley, West Virginia. It is home to Smith Orchards. Uh, Winnie and her granny um, own a 25-acre farm and family business, and Winnie's best friend actually tends to um, have a bleeding heart for animals, and so Winnie and her grandma just keep accumulating uh, animals, like goats and things like that. Um, this is a, such a sweet, fun, and entertaining book, and the the two uh, kittens here are siblings, and they often find themselves um, in the middle of whatever Winnie is uh, going through. The next series I have is Erica Chase's um, and Ashton Corner's Book Club Mystery Series right here. This one is called... Um, Book Fair and Foul. The first one in the series is called A Killer Read, and she has her own little um, feisty cats on here as well. I actually haven't read this series in quite a while. Um, I think that there's only like four or five in the series total, but I will I'll have to look it up and see if there's any more. But the cover is it's stunning. Last but certainly not least is another set of magical cats. We've got Hercules and we have Owen. And they are a part of the Magical Cats Mystery Series by Sophie Kelly, who is also a pin name for Sophie Ryan for 
the uh, Second Chance Mystery series. So this author is very, very good at making the cats seem like primary main characters. I love Owen and Hercules so freaking much. They actually do have magic abilities. Um, one can go invisible, one can walk through walls, and they are extremely uh, handy. Small town librarian Kathleen Paulson is the owner of two very special cats, Owen and Hercules, who possess some unusual gifts in addition to skills for sleuthing. They're hilarious. I love them so much. There is nothing better than a feisty cat to make your your, your cozy mystery loving experience that much better. I have so many, guys, and there are so many more. These aren't the only ones. Let me know, are there any feisty, sassy uh, cats that I've missed? Let me know down below. But that's the end of this chapter of Quartagonist. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, happy reading. Bye.